And checking in with Isaias right now, the 11 a.m. update, it's, it weakened or shows that the storm weakened just a little bit. It was at 80 miles per hour earlier today. Now it's 70 miles per hour. Also a little tick up at the pressure there. So it's looking like the storm has lost a little bit of intensity. Intensity forecasting with the storm hasn't really been uh, the, the best time. There's a lot of uncertainty, especially with how it encounters vertical wind shear and also a drier environment. So at this point, still maintaining hurricane strength as it gets throughout the next couple of days is still expected to maintain hurricane strength, at least as a strong category one hurricane. And you can see a lot of the models now are now kind of agreeing. Before there was a bit of spread, but now as it gets closer to the state of Florida, most of the models still have this storm tracking along the eastern coast of Florida and making its way up the eastern coast of the United States. So here's a look at the latest track there. It made kind of a westerly shift, but it's not too significant as we head into the next advisory. So you can see still encountering part of eastern Florida there. Now, the, the better areas that could see or feel more of the impacts of the storms, at least for our viewing area, it's Highlands County. They're really close to Lake Okeechobee, who is currently in a watch for these uh, storm winds here. You can see tropical storm wind probability uh, is, is staying still. A lot of the stronger winds will stay offshore. We can get some gusty winds here in the Tampa Bay area. Highlands County could actually if actually feel some better impacts. But overall, we're really not expected to see much tropical storm or hurricane impacts with the storm over this weekend. We could get some rain bands. And here's what I'll show you in, in, the, in the future cast here. We could get some rain bands, also some potential stronger storms as we head into the weekend with the storm. But overall, major storm impacts are not really expected. For today, you can see some drier air over us, so we can get a couple of showers by this afternoon. Nothing too significant going on over here today. Tomorrow, though, a bit more moisture will head in. You can see some of those bands starting to put in, uh, push in some, some showers and storms around the Tampa Bay area. But you can see most of the widespread impacts, or at least the messiest weather, that dirty side of the storm will stay further along to the east. So the eastern coast of Florida really has a better chance of seeing uh, a, a more uh, impacts with this storm, also stronger storm impacts throughout much of the weekend. So we'll continue to track this as we get throughout the next couple of days. Still watching true trop two tropical waves out there in the Atlantic. Both have very low chances of developing over the next five days.